hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to another past HC exam question videos. We're going to do in this video, we're going to cover one of the past HC exam questions from the Blueprint of Life module and more specifically the inheritance chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you have about five seconds to pause the video. Once I've paused the video, attempt the question, and then when ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So the question says, use an example to explain why hybridization within a species is carried out, supposed to be is, is carried out. And that's worth two marks. So when you're ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. All right, for this question, it's only worth two marks. What you can quickly do is first just generally mention why we do hybridization. Generally, the reason why we do hybridization. And then obviously give a actual example as well. So first, general reasons for hybridization, and then example. And the example I'm going to give is the orange, or where the orange came from and why we crossed the pomelo with the mandarin to produce the orange. And um, yeah, that's a pretty good easy one to remember as well. So the first part is this, which is the general reason why we have hybridization. Hybridization of a species occurs when we cross two members of a species to produce offspring that has shared features of both parents. And so we want to have two members of a species being crossed because now this new offspring will have bits of the parent and bits of the other parent, both parents. This is usually done to select favorable traits from both parents to produce an offspring that has commercial use. So often we use it in a commercial area. And if doing this, selectively selecting them means we can get these favorable traits from both parents. Now this was just general statement, but it will also give an example as well. So an example of this is when, an ancient, when the ancient Chinese crossed the pomelo with the mandarin to produce the orange. And so these were the same species. They were, they're obviously not the same fruit exactly, but they do belong to the same species of citrus fruit. And we cross them and then we produce the orange. And why do we do that? Well, the orange has fleshy texture of the pomelo and the sweet taste of the mandarin. So it has some features of the pomelo and some features of the mandarin. But now we have a new fruit, which is quite different and still unique. So obviously the orange is quite popular. And that's the reason why we did that. And if you mention it this way, just quickly going for the example itself, you will get one mark as well. So now we have two out of two for this. And where does this question come from? It came from this top point. Students will cross information from secondary sources to describe an example of hybridization within a species and explain the purpose of this hybridization. So that's more or less what we were asked to do. Use an example to explain why the hybridization within, ex within a species is carried out. So here we said we need to know an example, and here we need to go through the purpose of that hybridization. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.